we wait to see, and you might tell us uh, how the amending legislation is progressing and ends up. You may not tell us. Um, in the meantime, we've been watching with interest the ongoing Assad investigations involving the ARL and the NRL, and Assad's difficulties in interviewing players and officials. Yesterday, the AOC executive amended our anti-doping bylaw. It's on the table in front of you with the amendments marked up. We amended it for Olympic athletes and officials to make it clear that those identified by ASADA must cooperate with and assist ASADA, even if to do so might tend to incriminate or expose them to a penalty. To be clear, failure to cooperate with and assist ASADA in every way can result in an athlete or official being ruled out of an Olympic team. So say you'll find a copy of the marked up amendments to the anti-doping bylaw on the table and similarly the relevant amended pages of our team membership agreements and they will be posted on our website. At this stage we've only required compliance for athletes and officials during the period of membership of our shadow team period games and in respect of matters arising during those periods. Um, I suggest that national federations and the Australian and state and territory institutes and academies of sport look at civilly strengthening their anti-doping policies and rules if they haven't already done so to cover the times outside of these periods when the athletes and officials are more their responsibility.